Hey there, all you cool cats and kittens. I really gotta stop starting my videos off with this. It's kind of weird. You guys, thank you so much for joining me for an all new edition of five to 15 minutes of fashion with yours truly. It is I, your residence logo host, but H-E-A-U-X, Nina Johnson. If this is your first time here, thank you for joining us. Must us so we can talk about all the glorious and fashionable things that you can spend your hard earned money on. And if this isn't your first time here, congrats to you on making bad life choices and joining us so we can talk about all the glorious, fashionable, while quite unnecessary things we can spend our hard earned money on. So, as you can see, we have a guest, and I would like to introduce to you Aisha Thompson. She is the executive director for the face behind the face, the face magazine's nonprofit, and it's all about mental health. But before we jump into the kind of the meat of the, the show, we're gonna, it's kind of gonna, gonna be a, a very interesting episode, informative, not interesting, informative, but we're gonna try to keep it a little bit and light too. Light, yes. A little light, but informative, and we're gonna make sure we cover all the, the really important things that we wanna discuss in this episode. We don't want anything to sneak away, but we still wanna have a good time with you guys. So um, before we get started, I wanted to let you know that there are still tickets available for the face. I feel like we need a drum roll or something. This hey, Saturday. This Saturday. December. December. 30th. Oh yeah, yes, yes. It's, it's, it's Saturday, it's Saturday yes. December 30th. The Face Magazine is doing a launch of our, uh, we are returning back to the ethosphere, is that a word? Ethosphere? We're coming back, people. Back and, and better than ever. Um, and so we have a fantastic fashion show planned. Yes, and it's gonna be what, a 70 foot runway. We're gonna have a bunch of designers that I mean, we're featuring. Go big or go home. I'm excited to Speaking see of, the, oh, yeah. the Beck bags. Oh yeah, I don't mm -hmm. know, B-E-C-K mm -hmm. kind of bags? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're cute. They're really cool. I, I, I love them, I can't I wait to see the collection. I love a quilted bag, and, yes. and honestly, if your like, outfit is trash, like yeah. the bag can save it, so I do love a good bag. That's so true. And I don't That's discriminate. So um, and I am ready to see Flo by Tara. I think it's like Flo, because all of her designs look really flowing, really pretty. I love that I she has like colors. really flattering silhouettes um, that fit everyone's body type. It's like, she's, she, I feel like she designs like a, not she doesn't design like them, but I think her clothes fit in the way that like a Sergio Hudson or a Michael Kors, they they all have different styles, but their clothes look good on everybody. Yes, type. and, and she I has feel, some really beautiful head wraps. You yes, know, that and she wrap has your the, hair up in and, and that little mask. She has masks too. She has masks which too. Which I still do. Yeah, I mean, I people mean, are gross. And on a plane, safe than sorry. Yeah, and, and especially is on a everything plane. a sinus infection? I mean, they're still regular <laughs> sick, but also. If you're hacking, like, pre-COVID, I wanted to cover my face. Plus, when you're a mom, you gotta watch what you bring home I know, to, you know, your, to your you tiny know, humans. To your family, you know? it matters. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. You I said, what, you, you told me better safe than sorry, better which is safe great than sorry. with sicknesses and and humans. Yeah. Some of us Being had pro daisies. Right? Preventing yeah. it yeah. is preventing, always better than reacting. Prevention is key. Reactive solutions? Yeah. We don't like that. We don't we like, like that. Mm -hmm. solutions, yeah. So. We, were, uh, we were laughing because I told her I had a little oopsie daisy, which I love. My, my little my little Bennett bear, my little oopsie daisy. Yep. Uh, but we were adopting, for those of you who know, and then we got a little surprise. So better safe than sorry is, I'm, I'm gonna start doing that, you know? So we'll, we'll work on it, you know? <laughs> um, and you have four children. I do, I have four. Okay. I have two boys and two girls. My Names oldest and boys, uh, Zion is 17. Malik is 14. Mm -hmm. Alexandria is eight. She actually just turned nine on the 15th. Oh, oh gosh. Where's the time? growing so fast. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Elizabeth is seven. And they keep me busy. They're a blessing. They're a blessing. It's like when they say, um, sometimes your uh, praise report becomes your prayer request. Thank you, God, for these blessings because they yes. truly are. Yes. But also, can I sleep? No. If no. you value mm -hmm. sleep, you mm -hmm. should never have children. No, you um, shouldn't. If you like organization or cleanliness, you probably shouldn't have children. Children aren't your thing. And I mean, if you don't like noise, you probably shouldn't. No, have probably children. not. Probably not a thing for you. Yeah. You know, yeah. just but get up. Plants life so fun. They're wonderful. They are. They're, and and I, watching them grow is. I just, mean, and the ages and the stages mm -hmm. and the phases. I mean, I'm at an interesting phase. Yes. My yes. daughter <laughs> was mad at me because uh -huh. I was telling what Aisha you, do, she mom? was making up a song. Mm. And I couldn't sing along with her. I mean, you should know everything. And I'm like, but, but you're making it up as you go. I don't know the song. Right? I don't know the song. And then I was singing her a bedtime song, and she's like, sing me a new one. And I started singing her the, listen, I started singing her the theme song to Golden Girls. Oh! And how, She thinks I made reaction? it up. She oh. loved it. She oh. was, you made up a great song, and I haven't told her that it. it's... <laughs> It's been lifted. It's a you copyright infringement. Sometimes so. I believe they don't need to know. No, you know, it's a she, need to know basis. She can figure it out. She 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 doesn't need to know. She'll figure it out on her own. Absolutely. So, um, but 
Oh, did we talk about our favorite designers for the fashion show? We, we hope did. to see you guys there. Uh, yes. Tickets are available. I will put a link on my Instagram. If you hit the Chevron and expand, um, you can see a link there on the YouTube. And then uh, give us your information so we can follow and Absolutely. like and all that. Yeah. So and what I is hope your... to see you guys there. Um, on Instagram, I'm just Aisha.Uilani. It's I-E-S-H-A dot U-I-L-A-N-I. You can find me on Instagram, okay. Facebook, um, and I hope to see you there at the yeah, event. It's going to be so much fun. And yeah. if you want to get dressed up, you can get dressed oh, up. Oh, we're dressing I up. I love getting dressed up. Yeah, and, and I, I need like, reasons to. So this but is I need this reason. much reason to. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you give me an inch, I will take right. a mile. So um, we are both former pageant girls. We are. And um, we do have, I was Miss T, um, USA System, right? Yep. Uh oh, USA girls, no talent. <laughs> oh. No yeah, talent. I, I mean, we do have them, talent, yeah. but we, we do have talent. Miss America. But America. Oh, did the, you do some Miss America? The, the, well, some of the I didn't have to do any talent. Uh, but just, it's just me. It's just me with no talent. Yes, you needed. know. I was I was hilarious and smart and witty, so it. no talent. But um, so we're going to talk more about the Face Magazine. Why don't you give yes. us a little... So, uh, insight about the So the Behind the Face is a nonprofit organization that the Face magazine started in light of Chesley Christ. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember her or not, but she was uh, Miss USA. Mm -hmm. And um, in 2021, January of 2020, mm -hmm. she jumped from her 42nd store high rise in Manhattan and ended her life. Um, but this woman was accomplished. She was strong and beautiful. She was, I think, an extra correspondent. She held the Miss USA title. She placed top 10 in the Miss Universe pageant. Yeah. I she was top was, five, was it, was it top 10? It might have been, top it, five. I, she was up there. Mm -hmm. she's, she's gorgeous. Um, she was also an attorney. Um, and an advocate for social injustices, and she stood up for women's rights. I mean, she just she worked with children. What she did in her yeah. lifetime, in the 30 years that she was alive, she probably did more than most people will ever Accomplish do. Accomplish in, in multiple life. lifetimes. And you know. Um, you know, the Face Magazine did an article on her back in 2018. Mm -hmm. And, prior um, to her becoming prior to her Miss becoming USA. Miss USA, yeah. and we just loved her, and and when we heard of of her tragic passing, passing yeah. we just thought, you know what, we need to start shining a positive light on the topic of of suicide prevention and awareness which is directly correlated with um, mental health and wellness yeah so um, we are truly dedicated to just having that uncomfortable conversation mm -hmm. um, at the event we're actually going to be presenting her mother mm -hmm. um, April Simpkins with an award mm -hmm. uh, the light behind the face award honoring her daughter mm -hmm. and honoring her for all of her efforts her she's, she's out doing. there in the community mm -hmm. also advocating um, on behalf of of her daughter's legacy and also to have the conversation about making sure that we are investing in our mental health because we have to treat it like well and if we're being honest yeah. some of us just don't know how to maybe yeah. we don't have the skills or tools or you know it's it's kind of an uncomfortable I, topic or absolutely. conversation and, and and i was discussing with yeah. you earlier um, my personal struggles with postpartum depression when i had my daughter how i was almost committed to a psychiatric ward. Um, and on the back side of that now, I think, whoa, that was like a whirlwind, that was a lot. I had postpartum OCD, postpartum anxiety, and it was it was very heavy and it was so real, like during the moment, you know, you just are like. Well, it's hard, yeah. it's, it's hard. Yeah. And, it's, and a lot of times I think we do feel alone. Yeah, you do. Um, and there are negative stigmas attached. To, Absolutely. To saying, hey, I'm feeling a little crazy today. I mean, and, yeah, and, and like, and, and it, the crazy so real, quote unquote crazy. Oh, yeah. And it's like, I am the face of crazy, you know? Like, I think we don't know what it looks like. We like, don't. You and look at Chesley and she's beautiful, she's beautiful and accomplished this formidable force of a woman. Yes. And you and just she, was, she struggled with uh, depression. Mm -hmm. This woman who yeah. had it all together, uh, you know, had struggled with depression and ultimately it costed her her life. But I think we need to just again shine a positive light on it i think there's a lot of negative stigmas attached Absolutely. to that topic i mean even when you use the term like you said you were almost committed like we should remove that word yes. from it committed is like when you when you do something bad, bad. Yeah. When you commit a crime yes or you yes. get committed Absolutely. you know like no yeah. and you, you have even, to stop. You don't even realize you're using that like sort of language to describe it yeah, we absolutely. have a lot of negative yeah. uh, terms that are yeah. associated with it, and we have to stop that yeah we have absolutely. to stop that and honestly when you say that too to be committed wouldn't have been a bad thing no. like if i if i had needed it 
good. Yeah. You know, if I was but somewhat, even staying committed, like we, yeah, no. But, but if I had needed to yeah. be hospitalized for my mental health, it would be in the same way that I mean, after I had been it. I had postpartum preeclampsia that I did not know was a thing. Like, yeah. what? The nurse goes, you have postpartum preeclampsia. No, she goes, you have preeclampsia. And I was like, what is no, that? No, no. Well, yeah. I thought you only got it like before you had your baby. So I'm literally holding my son and I'm like, no, I, I, I have my baby. Have my child. And my husband's like, she can see that. Won't you just hear her out? And I'm like, oh, okay. So, but if someone had told me they need to keep me in the, they needed to keep me in the hospital extra days for that, I wasn't like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work it out right. on my own. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tough think, through. Right. And and we do that with mental we, we health. We do do that. Yeah. We do do that. And it's we weird. do we do kind of play things off or yeah. or cover things up, you know? Yeah. Um, and or we have things to like I can handle that. it. I, which there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's great. It's but, it, but it's I think, courageous, but, I, but you do sometimes have moments when and you, need help. you don't know what you're doing. Yes. And that is okay. And, and if you okay need help, okay. then, then take the help. And if you yes. need the medicine, then take the medicine. Yes. I was joking with you. I was saying, if I had diabetes, I wouldn't be like, you know what, pancreas? Might never matter. Yep. I'm gonna tell you his boss. I would be right. in a coma. Right. You know, right. like I wouldn't be telling my pancreas. Right. Like I would take the medicine, yeah. and I feel like mental health is health. It is, and, and it, it should be treated like wealth. Yeah. So, you know, um, and I, I don't know. Like I feel like we had this conversation too about emotions. Like whenever I have my emotions, whether they're sad or mad or happy or whatever, like are we really giving them positive yes. outlets? Mm -hmm. We have to have that conversation too. I think a lot of times um, we weren't taught, and it's tools or skills to mm -hmm. deal with life when it gets and we hard or uncomfortable. In negative we ways. do like yeah. you know you have a bad day at work you come home and you have a drink right mm -hmm. is that a positive outlet or can that lead to the you know other yeah. negative effects and, and full um, candor and, and mine was like yourself. mine was like spending and over shopping like whenever whenever i couldn't deal with an emotion right. and then i just like got all this crap and i've mismanaged you know my personal finances and i'm just like that's not healthy, yeah. you know. And, and what do you do when life hasn't turned out the way that you expected it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, or when life just hands that? you a card yeah. and you like, like, where did this come from? I mean, you know? even speaking with uh, Chesley's mother, you know, like, what happens to the people that are left behind? Yeah. She was completely, you know, just devastated. Yeah. And then you have to I still, couldn't imagine. you still have to go on. Yeah. So in that, it's like, what does this conversation look like? Yeah. And um, are we really, 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 really taking care of ourselves? Yeah. And, um, there's nothing wrong with getting therapy, like Absolutely. grief therapy or, or, or trauma therapy, or even having someone to talk to who's unbiased, right? Who doesn't yeah. know my story, doesn't mm -hmm. know me, yeah. has no skin in this, but can just sit there and listen and kind of just walk me through my thought processes. And like, I, think we're moving, I think removing the stigma is really important. And yes. I love that, like, I think there's so much synergy in behind the face, because yes. what's so important about it is, there is no quote unquote face for mental health. You were talking about, a, yes. you were talking about, um, who did you mention? So, Twitch, and Twitch, it like, literally Twitch like made selling. that, hairs on my arm stand because you look at this you person at he's and he's happy he's dancing he's smiling i mean he, he had a picture family. of joy he had yeah. young children a wife beautiful wife beautiful like life. everything you think a person would just want just gone yeah you know a uh, fashion designer kate spade yeah she had it all you what just, happened here i mean um you know people in entertainment I robin, mean, like robin williams, williams i mean anthony just, bourdain anthony. i mean you these people that have dreamy lives you think like there's no way yeah. But the truth is that suicide does not discriminate. It, no, doesn't, it doesn't care about your status, your title, what color your skin is. And sometimes you literally are. have like a chemical imbalance in your brain that medication can fix. Absolutely. And I was saying to you earlier, I think like with me, I thought I was a super healthy person, like mental health. Because um, after my father passed when I was 29, and I always say that like, he got me to Dallas so I could meet my boo because I was in Atlanta. I know, right? I, just, I mean, he definitely did. So um, I was living in Atlanta at the time and my dad, um, they'd given him two years to live. So I moved closer to home. I was not gonna move back to my hometown. That wasn't really my vibe. So I moved closer to home right. and I would drive home every weekend and see my dad and, and he passed within like six months of me being there. And I think it- Which is really hard to do, watch the person that you love yes. go. Yeah. But I think if they had told me it would have been six months, I wouldn't have moved. Cause I'd have been like, oh, well, that's like a brief amount of time. So I moved within six months though. He had passed that I met 
my husband, my now husband, my permanent husband. Not my now, I feel like when I say now husband, it's like, am I gonna have another husband? Maybe I should <laughs> call him that, keep him as on his as, toes. As long as he, yeah. as long yeah. as he you know. Yeah. Stay <laughs> on your, you walk the line, you buddy. <laughs> but um, had That's I not moved, too. I wouldn't have met my husband. But I remember like after my father died, I did grief counseling. Yep. And I was like, I am on top of my mental health. I'm a progressive woman. I have a career, a profession, and yep. my job, which I think we need to talk about that more, mm -hmm. my job had benefits for mental health. Mm -hmm. I think it's insane yeah, that, that your health care or your health care won't cover like seeing us like that's insane. Like, yeah, so that's another hard like, topic. Is yeah. Some people don't have, they have a lack of capital to access yes. to that because Which is therapists insane. cost money. They do. And, and they a lot of times people network. don't have money yep. out of pocket. Yeah. I mean, you know, so Same I part. understand. So, I mean, so for us to be able to just kind of create that channel, that outlet, yeah. you know, we're pairing up with other organizations to help, you know, yeah. if people want to reach, we can kind of just have this connective outlet. And to, then I, of course I have. ramble and forget my point, but what I was mentioning earlier with my therapy, after I had my daughter, I started taking medication for it because I just thought, well, I don't need the medicine. And I like frowned up, like I can do it. Right. Like I've done it all this time without medicine, but I like to think that like there's like a, a curve, right? And there's like right. a point where you have talk therapy and then you get to the top yep. and then you can't reason with a brain that is misfiring. Correct. So you have to get your medication in line and, and then you can kind of like when you have a headache, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, as soon as you take the medication for it, the headache goes away. Yeah. Like, and then you feel better and then you don't have to stay in it permanently, yeah. but it's just to get you to where you're stable get you to better, or where you you're know? feeling better yeah. and where you can, you know, absolutely you get back to being you think, again. Yeah. But and this, I think you have to, you have to remove the stigma. You do. It, you do. Yeah. But that starts with the uncomfortable conversation absolutely. and it's okay. And yeah. you know, if, um, and I think we're all struggling. struggling. Like you don't know what, what it looks like. Like, you yes. know, and, and there are survivors everywhere. Speaking of survivors, you are domestic I, violence survivor. Yes, I am. I'm not really proud of that part of my life because it was so dark. Um, you know, I'm not, but I'm you not should be very, proud that you're a survivor. That of part course, you should celebrate. Yes, because some people don't make it through. Absolutely. Like we just had a story a couple of days ago before Christmas in Hawaii of husband shot his wife four times and then shot himself in front of their eight year old daughter. It oh is absolutely devastating. We lose a lot of people. <laughs> I mean, every 90 seconds someone gets assaulted. It's, it's, it's really sad. But um, mm. for me, for my story um, as a survivor, it's just my hope now that my story can sort of be someone else's survivor guide. Like, mm -hmm. don't wait until you're, you know, bloody or you can't, you're fighting for your life to all of a sudden value yourself and be mm. like, wait a minute, like, I deserve more than this. Nobody deserves to be treated like this. You know, I've never accepted this What do you think more. was the thing that like made you like, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, this is it, I'm done. I'm gonna seek help, I'm gonna get out. It was hard. I tried to escape it for years, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, you're actually more in danger when you're trying to escape an Absolutely. abusive, an abusive relationship. And I know now that one of the main reasons I think a victim chooses to stay with their abuser is mm -hmm. because of the loss of financial independence. Yeah. Uh, you know, I can now I've become completely controlled by this other person. I can't take care of myself, let alone a family. So and then how a lot do you of, leave if you have correct. no resources, you know? Correct. So mm -hmm. it creates this very, very hard. It's just hard. It's hard to escape it. Mm -hmm. I'm lucky. I mean, the way that it happened to me, I wouldn't wish it on anybody, but it's kind of like it wouldn't have dissolved any other way. Like, mm -hmm. I'm thankful that that night that my son called the police and that he didn't ultimately cost me my life. But there was a moment when he was strangling me that I started seeing spots and I was just like, oh God, like, please, like, this can't be the way I'm gonna go. And then, you know, he, luckily my, my children heard the commotion in our master bedroom and they did call the cops and they got there in time and then, Goodness. you know, they raised <clears throat> them away. And it was hard though, because it's like, was this I what, Were you wanted. in Hawaii? When this no, this is here. here. Okay. Yeah, this is in uh, 2021. So you competed in Hawaii. How did you, this, and, and did I you ended meet? up here in 2012, we relocated here. My husband at the time was getting out of the military. So okay. we relocated here and we moved in together. What I know now is he kind of isolated me from my family and friends, so that's we could that have, was like which is a classic move. like mm -hmm. abuse like scenario. So yeah. fast forward, you know, ten years later, um, I've escaped my abusive marriage, and now I'm just picking up the pieces. But it's been really hard because I never wanted to be a single mom with four mm -hmm. kids, or or and I didn't know what I was gonna do because I was I was terrified, yeah. and um, I, I was ashamed too because I, I covered it up. 
I lied a lot. Like it's I put so on a show that you because wore I wasn't. His, it wasn't even your shame to wear. No, them. but like, it but, wasn't but even yours to we wear. We do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I, I don't do that anymore. Yeah, but it's not yours to wear. Like you should yeah. be proud that like yeah. that's tough. Oh, that's absolutely. You and four kids, and you made it out. Like made it out. And so you I, are I, a survivor. I hope, like, I hope that you know that if there's anyone out there struggling with that, um, mm -hmm. know that there are you know people that can help you, and yeah. it's going to be okay. And we'll just figure it out. And you, there is there is another way. And you reach out yes. to some. Listen, reach out to a stranger because what I will tell you about moms and women. We will fight for you. Oh, absolutely. Like, we will fight. Absolutely. Little random stories absolutely. because this is what people come here for. My husband traveled, and this is not related to your personal story. Like, this is not, I am not equating the two. This is not the same. Um, but my husband, this is about, like, reaching out and, like, women just, like, yep. we will be there for you. And I can yeah. assure you. Like, my daughter had an allergic reaction. Random story, not related to the first random story. Had an allergic reaction at the Ritz-Carlton to oh eggs. And it's like vomiting. Oh no! And we're and trying like, to get out. You're like, do you know a woman was like, because Lincoln, here. she she right. had on her Lincoln had on her bathing suit, and I was trying to get her out, and it was cold. And she's like, I'm gonna take this bag, and I'm like, no, it has vomit. I gotta figure out. She's like, you figure out the top, the small human. I'm gonna take. And this is what like moms yes. do. So yes. like trust. You can trust women. I yes. mean, like women will like fight for you. They will. Like, we will. We've got mama bear in us. Uh, my husband yes. traveled. He was gone for six days, and so I would typically, like, I'd have nanny help. I'm very blessed in that regard, and I know that it is a blessing, and I'm very fortunate. But my nanny's mother-in-law got COVID, and then she got COVID. So I was, like, solo dolo with two tiny humans for the first time ever. Would not recommend. Zero stars. Rotten tomatoes. So, um, so, so much respect it's hard. for you. It is hard. So, and it was my first time, and I thought I was doing great. And then my nanny called one morning, and she got in COVID. And I was supposed to be heading to my daughter's school with 50 snowman hot chocolate bombs <sighs> that I was trying to make while holding my newborn on me. And again, this is not the same. I'm just saying that girl power. So... Um, she called and my son was still asleep because I was letting him sleep until the nanny arrived and I was going to take my daughter to school with like, I have these things that I make called Chick-fil-A bouquets and they're just like red and white flowers and I tie like a little so Chick-fil-A gift card to them. I love that. For like just <laughs> this. Perfect. Sorry we lost you. I was telling a random story and my camera was like, no more random stories. Too bad camera. I have a new battery. Random story. So to wrap up the random story because we have other things I want to talk about, like your kids are doing really cool things. So we got to do that before we log off. But... So my nanny had to cancel last minute for a justifiable reason. So um, my kid's still asleep. I'm thinking she's gonna get here and we're gonna pack up the car and we're gonna go. And then I'm like, oh rats, she's not coming. So I gotta get the kid up, feed him, get him in the car seat and then we can go. And I'm like, Lincoln, you're gonna be late for school. So I email our teacher and they're like, it's fine, we'll figure it out. And so on, I text Lincoln's principal because it's a smaller school and it's like a community and it's just like a little family. So I text the teacher and I'm like, this is awful. I'm so low. And she goes, why does crap always hit the fan when your husband's traveling? It's, it just always it's does. True. You know, it's like the worst time. It's the worst time. Or like timing. just when your help's not available, like stuff yes. just happens. Yes. You know? Yeah. That, so, that um, life. It, yeah, I mean, it just, it's variety is the spice of life. We put the fun in dysfunction, I feel like. We do. So I call the principal and I'm like, I have a car full of like these little things. <laughs> I call Chick-fil-A bouquets. I have a hundred snowmen, not chocolate bombs. I took all the teachers. Um, I hope I don't get them in trouble, but I got them like little spiked hot chocolate bombs for oh, the grownups. And I just had it. a car full of stuff. So I, I pull up, it. the policeman's like, I'm going to let you in. And then the principal comes in. She's like, what do we need? And I was like, I don't know, like hands. And so then the admin comes out and she's like, She's wonderful. Her name's Dee Smith. Yeah. She entertains the baby. We Aww. keep my car running. Somebody like pulls my car full. I don't even know what's going on. Hands start coming out, and then the best thing happens. People start hugging me and going, Aww. "It's okay, Mama. It's okay. We're all, we're gonna take care of it." Within an hour, gifts were delivered. Baby was back in the car. He had been entertained so much the whole time that when he got home, he went down. Hi, chicken nugget. Oh, now you have to be here any minute. Now. Okay, all right. Could be four Okay, my daughter's having a sleepover. That's right. And oh, this is what we, we, we just get interrupted here. But they were like, it's okay, mama. Like, we got you. And it was just like hugs. Like, her teachers came out and gave me a quick hug. And they got her in. And then she left her coat. And I think the assistant teacher came out and got her jacket. It. And I was just I like, first it. of all, we picked the best school. And it was just like, we're not going to let you slip through the cracks. 
And I think like back to more importantly, less of a random story, but like I think if you're going through something, yes, you gotta reach out. You and do. I just feel like moms. You do. And like, we as, you know, empathizers, we have to be kind, right? Yeah. It doesn't mm -hmm. cost anything to smile at cost somebody you zero or to, to compliment nice. somebody or yeah. to ask somebody how they're doing. Yeah. Like, literally, it costs nothing, mm -hmm. but maybe some time, yeah. which we can afford it. Yeah, absolutely. And also breaking the silence. We talked about this. Yeah. That silence is like the breeding ground for traumas to survive, yeah. like to thrive, not survive, mm -hmm. thrive. And once you break the silence, then you can begin to address whatever it is that you're going through. And I think part but of the silence is getting rid of the shame. Correct. Like, I think the shame causes you to like suffer in silence. Of course, because nobody, yeah. you know, you have moments where you're not proud of yeah. whatever it is you're going Absolutely. through. But know, just know that you're strong enough, like it's okay. And once you speak out, yeah. you're gonna start to deal with it. Especially you know? if you're, I mean, anything, you're just, you're suffering from domestic anything. violence. Like, that's not your shame. No. That's the abuser it's shame. It's not. You know, and maybe he was dealing, you said he was in the military, maybe he had PTSD. He did, and, like, and he did, he did have all of that. Yeah. So a lot of times I would, Not make, absolve I would make excuses for him because that's what we do nope. as women. Yeah. I don't do that anymore, but it's yeah. like, oh, you know, he's having a bad day because he did. He had his face blown off and he's got metal all in his face. So I'm like, oh, maybe he's just hurting or having a bad day. It's okay yeah. that he's talking to me like that yeah. or it's lashing out on me. Like and he's then gotta I'm like, get wait help. a minute, I'm yeah. not your punching bag. Yeah. like, no, we're not doing this. Yeah. Like, absolutely yeah. not. Not all my sense. I think it's okay to ever treat a woman like that. Yeah. And I definitely would never accept that for my daughter. So why would I accept it yeah. for myself? But, but even little things like when you're feeling overwhelmed or mm -hmm. you feel like you have no help, you know, just, just speak up, just reach. You'd be surprised if you ask for help, how much help you actually have. And the honestly, problem is we like never if reach, some, and if never you, reach. and if you ask for help once and God forbid you meet a terrible human being or woman, God forbid, God forbid, women, God forbid, <laughs> and this is a horrible woman who like won't help another woman. Right. Like, and let yeah. her kick rocks. We're not all like that, you We're know? Not. And the, not. the internet is this horrible, like just spewing, yeah. festering place of and, like manure. Yeah. And so and that is not us in real life. Not break you down. Absolutely. Yeah, and I feel not, like yeah. you can reach out to someone and you if can. it doesn't go, reach out to someone else. Like don't give up on you. Absolutely. You know? yeah. Reach out to us. We love reach out, you. Honestly, We're reach out. You. To, if you are we having a crisis, talk. I will point you in a direction. Seriously. I will help you. You are not you know? alone. You are and not alone. You're not. And you're not crazy. And no. you're not. You're not. We and honestly, I'm crazy. It's okay. And crazy is amazing. The, crazy is crazy. eccentric, right? Yeah. Crazy is fantastic. Just, we don't you know, want to be bored. I am definitely. Colorful. I definitely like laugh at like all of my idiosyncrasies Me around like, my mental health. <laughs> I'm like, girl, <laughs> like, that's wrong? great. Like if, a, if like just, um, again, I talk about my intrusive thoughts yes. and how yes. I love how you were saying, you know, you have to kind of like check your thoughts about yourself. You do. And if they're positive, embrace them. If they're negative, work through them. But if Correct. they're absolutely ridiculous, you have to let them go. You know, like if you things do. that you were saying to yourself about yourself are just like, just categorically untrue, wash yeah. it away. My therapist, what I always would talk about my like intrusive thoughts. Like I would just have the most insane thoughts. And she's like, let it go. And don't get on the loop of kicking yourself about Correct. like your intrusive thoughts. And they're just thoughts, right? A yeah. lot of times thoughts are far from the truth. So just remember that. And don't just give because them I'm having that. a thought. Doesn't Isn't mean it that weird it's how like you will believe the worst things about yourself? Oh, absolutely. Like if someone if says you allow, you're so if beautiful, you allow. yeah, yes. you'll be like me. Nee. But like someone could yes. say something negative about you, then you'll take it and believe it, and then multiply it. And I'm like, what? That's and I so think, dumb. I think that's one of the mental health issues that we women don't like to talk about. It's like everybody in the room could tell you you're beautiful, but sometimes inside, I don't feel. What yeah. everyone else is saying. Yeah. And why is that? Yeah. Why am I so hard on myself? Why I am I my worst critic? Why do I beat myself up? I about, think it's like about the world. Everything. I think if like and if you embrace yourself and like love yourself, like people say, you know, like, oh, you're conceited. Okay, fine. That's I got I got to roll with that, you know. I always joke with my girlfriends, like I don't wear like um I typically don't wear boots a lot because I have chicken legs. Oh and stop it. I do no, but my friends are always like, Oh, you're so beautiful. I'm like, I know I'm cute, I'm a snack, <laughs> but I can't my feet look like I'm not trying to my me. legs look like I'm in two five gallon buckets. Yeah. That's not my and so I think you have to like be self aware. Like, we if do. you if you have positive things, lean into it. If you have negative things and if you have things that not negative, but if you have things that you aren't crazy about 
about that's okay too well, i do think we do have to be nicer to ourselves Absolutely. and i'm guilty of that and yeah. i'm working on it every day like yeah. being kinder to myself be nice not, to you not not being conceited but just like just yeah. giving myself grace right yes give like, yourself, like pat, pat yourself on the back correct yeah. like you're doing the best that you can you're one person yeah, it's not perfect yeah i don't know what i'm and doing and if you're giving your family a hundred percent of the 20 percent you exactly. have to give you gave all you have to give we woke up today okay honestly celebrate you pantyhose celebrate you so, you gotta celebrate you. You do. This was such a good conversation. This was such a great It's like time. our pageant girls, she did the USA so system. Much. So it was like, we're like pageant girls united. We my, are. When she arrived, I didn't have on a skirt. I had on just my mid glare <laughs> leggings. And my husband's she like, looks amazing. put some pants on. We have company. I'm like, she's a pageant girl. I'm like, I ain't gotta put on pants. We, if we could be comfortable, we would. I mean, honestly, like how how many naked people have you seen like, oh, in pageants? Oh, a lot, a lot. You like, just, oh, get, you just, just like, get numb to it. You literally you literally get numb to it. You and you're full kissed on what you have going on next yeah, really no one not, cares like you naked, no... and you have children you've you also do. given birth to babies like we don't Correct. care yeah like i have no modesty issues no. after I i'm a little take... numb from all of it like <laughs> so what who cares yeah really absolutely. so absolutely. We'll, we'll have to have you back on absolutely and you guys don't forget uh the show at uh 6 p.m doors open yep at the La Meridian? La Meridian. Hotel. Up, uptown. Charlotte, uptown. Tickets still available. We will put yes. links in our respective social medias. Um, and I think that that is everything. Yes. And thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank love you so much you for joining me. Thanks for um, watching. In the meantime and in between time, hug each other, love yes. each other, and stay fabulous, dolls. Absolutely.